Welcome back to episode 4 of Socks Plays Stardew Valley. Um, here we go. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Which, that is, that is something we want, so that's something we're probably going to get um, as soon as possible. But yes, episode four of Socks Plays Stardew Valley. Nothing exciting has happened. I have not played ahead. Um, just gonna chop some more resources while I get my head together. Um, we will need more seeds. I have some gold, so I think I'm gonna go buy. Uh, some more seeds. Can we craft? What can we craft? Craft a wood path and a fence. Um, I didn't actually need to craft that. Shit. That's fine. We'll craft some fences. There's two wood. Till I have a silo, but that's good. That's fine. That's good enough for now. Is there anything we can forage? Um. Anyway, goal: get seeds, meet people, try not to be disturbed by the creepy sound effects that play in the background. Oh, it's only eight twenty. Goddamn. Basically, run around until Pierre opens his shop. But it's Wednesday, and they're closed on Wednesday, so never, never mind. We're just gonna go down to the beach, I suppose. And we'll do some fishing. Get to uh, not watch me fail at the fishing minigame because, if you do recall, I shut it off. Not, not a fan of um, the minigame. I'm sure it's fun for other people, but I'm just bad at it, and I know I'm bad at it. And I know I'm not gonna get any better at it. At least not with this crappy fishing rod, anyway. Um, while we fish, I, I think fishing is boring. I always thought fishing was boring, even in the Harvest Moon game series. It's never been my favorite thing in the world. So this, this is just an easy way for me to skip all the hard parts. Uh, and I'm sorry if you, if you're a fan of the hard parts, but I'm, I'm really not. Um, if I sound tired, it's because I am. Uh, the Mariana's Trench concert was last night for me. Not last night for, um, anybody watching this because I think it'll be a couple weeks ahead when this actually gets posted. Yeah, I went to go see Mariana's Trench last night and it was phenomenal. Um, I had the opportunity to touch Josh Ramsey, but I did not take it because I was freaking out over the fact that I was close enough to be able to touch Josh Ramsey. And I'm still freaking out about that. Um, <laughs> Uh, it was a good time, though. I think Josh was the best stage presence of any uh, musician I've gone to see in my whole 20 years of life. Oh shit, that's right. I can't, can't overexert myself on this little stream here. What is it? There's gotta be something else we can do other than fish. I could go clear more of my farm. We do have more energy. And I don't want to pass out just yet. Um, 
he need to work on farming and the like. Yeah, that's that's good enough for fish. Let's go explore. So I don't think we've I've taken you on too much of a tour. Oh well, hello. Yeah, other places. Fucking town. So here's Sebastian. Uh, do you like fish, Sebastian? Oh, I don't want you to fish. Um, actually, this room should be open. Can I get from the saloon? So you get beer, salad, bread, spaghetti, pizza, coffee, and they do have like your basic recipes that you can buy. Um, we don't have a kitchen because we don't have a house upgrade, so I'm not going to worry about any recipes just yet. And I think there's a channel on the TV that actually lets you learn uh, different recipes, but we can check that out later. In the later times. I don't think I've got my letter. Yeah, no, that's still being worked on. See these little statues over here? I don't actually know much about them. I should probably look that up, but, um, effort, which I do not have. Have I met the homeless guy yet? Oh. Okay, I don't know you well enough to trust you. That's, that's nice. Nothing really, nothing really to forage either. I haven't seen any of the little squiggly worm dots on the ground. Let's see the back of the farm. That's a geode. Oh, we want that. That's good. I'm gonna go sell these fish. Um. I say I'm gonna do something, then I get distracted and wind up doing something else. But yeah, sell the fish. Uh, I think I have enough time to make it to go see what's his face, the blacksmith. I forgot what the blacksmith was called for a second. I was going to say I don't even know what I was going to say. It started with an F. My my brain filled in F. I'm just, my brain's broken. Again, I'm a little tired. <laughs> it's up till 3. Driving to London from Windsor is uh, 2 hours. And we left at 1 yesterday, and I got home... 1 p.m. yesterday we left. And I got home around 1 in the morning. This morning. That was a fun time. Uh, process geodes. What do we get? Copper! Okay, we're gonna save that. Because we will need copper ore eventually to help us upgrade the tools. Um, the pickaxe, hoe, axe, and watering can. Oh, have I met you yet? That's interesting. Um, I don't think I actually care that much about that fun fact. And eventually I am going to have to pick somebody <laughs> that I want to marry in this game. Uh, I don't know if there's like a year limit on when you have to pick who the person you want to marry is, but I figure getting that done and over with right away is done and over with. Not done and over with, but there are, there's quite a few choices of people that we could seduce and bring home with us, so to speak. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use up some of this energy before I have to go to bed. Let me, let me open up the, uh, once I chop this little tree down, the thing. So the people you can marry will have like a single beside them. So you could, I could right now marry Penny, Harvey, Alex, Sebastian, Leah, Sam, Abigail, Maru, uh, 
this chick, this guy, yeah, and then that chick or that guy. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards uh, Sebastian just because on the other game that I have, I seduced, seduced, I keep saying seduced, uh, I married, or planned on marrying Abigail. I haven't married her yet on my other game, mainly because I tried to give her the mermaid pendant and she stepped on it and it broke and she got angry at me and I don't know how to get it back. So I'm not going to worry about marriage right away in this playthrough. I'm going to work on getting my farm up to par and be self-sufficient so I don't have to worry too much about uh, the monies, the monies, all my monies that I do not have. Because money is important. Money buys you stuff. And I still need to save up for that, uh, that rucksack. Backpack? Knapsack? Whatever you want to call it. The bag that gives me more room for stuff. I need that. Uh, okay. It's about 6.30 p.m. I think that's a good for today. Let's go put my goodies away. I do want to fix the bridge, the broken bridge, over in the in the beach beach area but that requires 300 wood so we'll, we'll get there slowly but surely we will we will fix that and that might happen before I upgrade my house because upgrading my house is gonna take uh, the monies monies I don't have just yet they're growing pretty fast Oh, I didn't water that one. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So 15 seeds. Need to buy 18 seeds. Um, do I have stuff in my chest that I can... That I can sell. I can sell these and the copper. But I, I need the copper. And those don't really sell for too much. I think I'm just gonna leave those for now. Um, go do some exploring. Shit. So one thing I hate about the grass, or not the grass, these weeds, is they get in your way. And it doesn't really matter that that they're plant, plant-based weeds. They're just super annoying. But I do need fiber for a scarecrow. Um, which I cannot craft yet because I do not have enough experience, so to speak. No, I don't have enough experience. I don't have enough level. God, where's my brain? I don't have one today. I think that's the point. I don't have a brain. I'm, I am the scarecrow. I am the scarecrow from the Wizard of Oz. In, some, in spring, okay, I know I'm just jumping all over the place right now, but in spring you can find uh, onions, spring onions. Okay. Me. Yay, found a book. Well, I'll go through, I'll go to the library after I hit up uh, Pierce. Yeah, okay, here, spring onions. You will find them, like, just randomly growing down here, this area, by the ranch. And... How much do they sell for? Not too much. But, like, at the beginning of the game, you're broke as shit. So every every little bit helps. Like, I could, I could be selling all those fibers. Ferbers? For months, but... Uh, I don't wanna. 
I haven't unlocked the cutscene that tells you how to do that yet. Hello, Penny. But you can, like, rummage through people's trash bins. As long as nobody's around. Okay, what, what does someone need to do? Uh, I don't... Where would you even... I don't know where to find a cup. I'll accept it. Uh, I just have to look up where to find a carp. And if I even have like a good enough rod to catch me a carp. I don't think it really matters because again, I have the minigame skipped. So it's all I have to really worry about that. Um... take four days to mature and I do need 18 okay so that's good uh, I'm just looking up as well on my phone where to catch a carp and you can literally catch a carp anywhere except over it's a lake fish why I don't know I said anywhere. You cannot catch it anywhere. You can catch it in a lake or a pond. So I could catch it on the ranch or um ooh, forge. Oh is that the garbage? Because I don't need the garbage. I don't need the broken glasses. The lake. Lake by the mine? Lake, forest, pond. Sewers, secret woods bond. We haven't unlocked the secret woods yet. Um, all seasons, any time. Okay, we'll roll with it. Is it a carp? Yeah. Yeah. I gotta go see Willie now. Down to the beach. And doing quests right away sometimes it's it's not easy. This is that another one. Um, because you do only get like a two day limit for the ones on the bulletin board. And if you don't have like the experience or like if the mine's not open, like it is isn't right now, you can't really do much. But yeah, quests will help with money, especially in the beginning, because it's only 90 gold, but we get like two bags of seeds with that. Oh, hey, look, it's in there. Hey, Louis. My grandpa says hi. You remember my grandpa? I'm pretty sure my grandpa's dead. He has a shrine. Like, your grandpa's not alive if you have a shrine for him. Taking that. I'll go to the farm and plant this stuff. Um, before it gets too late. And then again, I'll go grab some resources, start cleaning up my farm a bit. Because it, it looks it looks a little gross right now. There's just overgrown overgrown stuff everywhere. Overgrown. I am so smart. S M R T. Plant these seeds. I could just warp to locations because I do have the option to in the cheats that I have, but that's no fun. It just it just gets boring if you don't have to walk everywhere. Because I do that on my other save, which I just I cheat the heck out of, and it's not really fun. It's gotten kind of boring for me. So I think that's why because cheats, um, if you use them responsibly. Can help add to gameplay. 
but if you just use it to be like the all-powerful god, uh, then it's a little... It's not as fun. And I do believe this is all the time that we have today, folks. So, next time on Socks Plays, I'll probably go collect all that wood I just dropped. Bye.